Jesus' faith, family, and friends. Grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. As we stand on the precipice of another Thanksgiving, one might ask the question, why do we give God thanks? Are there reasons in which we have to give him thanks? And I would say in a resounding, yes, there are. First of all, John three sixteen says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Further from that, Romans 5 and 8 says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And that alone is enough reason to give God thanks. But because of the uncertainty some have gone through, the grimace and pause when it comes to giving God thanks and praise, I'll tell you that when a person goes into the weight room in order to train, in order to become healthier, if in fact they use weights that have no resistance, weights that have no weight themselves, they're not helped in that instance. But if they use weights that help them to build resistance, muscles become stronger, endurance becomes longer, and perseverance prevails. God has taken us into the spiritual weight room and the things in which we face today. God is saying that he's given us the tools necessary to endure, to persevere, if we'd only trust and lean on him. If we cast our cares on him, even right now, God is able and willing to see about us. And so family, as we prepare to celebrate this Thanksgiving, even in a social distance setting, as we put turkey on the table with macaroni and cheese and ham and dressing and all the fixings, let us remember first and foremost to give God thanks for what he has done. Psalm 118 and one says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his love endures forever. That right there is the very reason to give him thanks. His love endures forever. No matter what you're dealing with today, his love endures forever. On behalf of myself and my wife, Tamara, and our family, on behalf of the entire leadership of the First Baptist Church of Chesterfield, family, we say happy Thanksgiving to you. May God bless you. May God continue to keep you. May God continue to smile upon you. We love you. Be blessed. Thank you.